Okay, so what's up y'all back with Apparel doing another video and today we're doing a video on it, so stay tuned. Okay, I thought I was actually doing two uh videos today on, on this channel because uh, I couldn't do a video on my gaming channel last night because of a storm that came through and you know, like the power flickered and and that'd be impossible, um, just about impossible to try to film, you know, with a TV going on and off, and so, okay, but getting back to the point of the video, um, today we're going to be doing a review on these, I know it seems like I've been only doing reviews, kind of the same thing, but, um, my next video is going to be a little bit different, because I decided to just go ahead and round out all my dress boots, so my next video is going to be a little bit different, but, um, Okay, so what we got here is a Cow Cowtown brand Python snakeskin boot, which this is real snakeskin. And um, this is one of my favorite pair of boots. As you can see, they barely have any wear on them. This one a little bit more so for some reason on the top than this one, but see, you see this, like I said, the sole barely has any wear and tear on it though. Because you know I don't wear these very much. You can see where I step the most; it kind of scuffs it up. But um, so they just have a hard leather outsole and a hard leather insole, which is the best, you know, because it will last you the longest. But, um, the leather outsoles, unfortunately, if it's pouring down rain or something, you know, it it's not gonna give you very good traction, so you can fall. So um, which I don't wear these if it's raining, and these are only on good, dry, real, pretty days. And, um, because, you know, I don't want the weather to run in the snake skin. But, um, this has a cowhide leather shaft. This is a square toe boot. I planned originally to get a pointy one because I like those better, but, uh, this one was a little bit cheaper. And I like this snake skin. The other one was a rattlesnake. I like this one better than the python. I like. And, uh, and I also like the white color of snake skin too. To me, that's what makes snake skin snake skin. Now you could get a print, uh, which is cheaper. But a lot of prints, though, especially snake skin, especially if it's yellow, it's, it's obvious that it's a print. I did see one one time on uh, Jeremiah's Cowboy Boot Group that uh, was a print. Uh, guy said it was a print, and it actually uh, looked real. I was kind of surprised, but um, yeah. But this, like I said, is genuine snake skin though. This is my most expensive pair of cowboy boots too. I think I think I paid uh, two hundred and forty dollars for these, which um, is actually pretty good for these because uh, most of these are about three hundred and, and more. So I actually got a pretty good deal on these. But um, yeah, but like I said, I'm used to paying about you know one hundred fourteen, hundred you know twenty something like that for my boots. So two hundred and forty dollars was pretty a little more expensive for me, but. Like I said, it get all kind of good though. But um, now I don't actually have a model number in here in the shaft. But um, you can see there's also brass nails in the bottom, and it's also a stacked leather heel, I believe. So uh, so pretty you know genuine cowboy boot construction. But, um, you can see that snake skin looks just looks incredible. I can get a good thumbnail image. Trying to get a, a, a good, th a good thumbnail. Yeah, I think that'll work. <laughs> but um, yeah, you gotta get a good thumbnail image because you know that's uh, how one reason to get views if you have a good thumbnail. If you have crappy thumbnails, you don't get as good views. But um, now when you treat, that's nice again. But I might do a video on how to treat exotic leather. But uh, speaking of exotic leather, this is my only a first pair of exotic leather boots and uh now I mean, when you treat uh you know reptile skin boot you have to go in the pattern of the of the, of the scales because if you go up against them you'll mess up the scales and i, I have a a special uh, bottle of uh reptile uh exotic treatment so and i also have a rag i use specifically for these because i don't want to get shoe polish over this 
which I do use shoe polish on the shell though. That's so my bad. <laughs> on the I, use, I put some brown shoe polish on the, on the sole there. You see, it makes it really shiny. Because when you wear it, it'll kind of wear down on the bottom there a little bit, kind of wear a little bit. But um, and these heel caps too, when they're new, you know everything you can think of sticks in them, like hickory nuts and stuff like that. I've had to hem before because they're they're, so, they're soft and rubber. Two and longer ones, those are old and they're hard, so if the stuff don't don't stick in them, it's like it does this. Because one time I wore these, we went to eat because it was a nice day, and I decided to wear these, and I uh, stepped on hickory nut or something and stuck in the bottom of my heel cap. I had to get it out. But um, as you can see, these just look incredible. I mean, to me, I mean, nothing says badass like reptile skin. <laughs> but, um, okay, so I think I said enough I can say right here. So, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna try these on. So, uh, stay tuned. Okay, so we're gonna actually gonna try them on here. I'll go, uh, I'll do a, uh, Another one in a minute, I'll show you what it looks like standing up and everything, but I'll put them on right here. I decided to wear charcoal uh, or black colored pants because they like, these look good with black. I'm gonna get them on. It's a good sound to hear, too, that whoosh of air coming out when you put them on. That's a good sound to hear. I'll do like I do my other dress boots, put one in and one over so I can show y'all how they both look. These are a little tighter to get on. This, this one of the shafts is a little bit tighter than my other ones, but um, that's why I can't put. I, the, I put the inserts that the boots came with in the box. I still got the box somewhere, but I couldn't find it in the review. But um, I think in my original review, I think I did show the box in my original review on my other channel. But um, okay. So as you can see here, kind of from this angle, they look pretty good. And with a you know a black color jean they, they, they just flow yeah I, at first I didn't think I was gonna like the square toe look but I actually do believe it or not and you know they're pretty comfortable too cause, you know because it's wide and you can spread your toes out a lot better than you know one that's pointed but um if I get like a eventually get like a Cayman belly boot or something I'll probably get a uh pointed one because I like I like I like a bit of both worlds, so that's why I got pointed and square toe. I mean, I'm not die hard one and die hard the other. I like I like all the boot sizes, just about it. Their boot shapes and stuff, just about it. So, but um, as you can see, um, now which one do I prefer? I mean, I, like I said, I guess it depends on what I'm doing. I like both ways myself with these, but um, so um. I'm gonna get up and uh, show y'all uh, what they look like, you know, on and full throw on everything. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, here's how they look like when I'm standing up. And, see, these look, you know, just amazing. I mean, I always uh, wanted a pair of Michigan boots, and uh, it took me a while because, like I said, they're kind of expensive. But I finally found me a and I, and I just really love these. <laughs> but, um, like I said, I can't wear these all the time, though, because, you know, I don't want to wear them out and look bad. So, these receive the least amount of foot time as my other boots. Now, like my fly boots, however, those receive the most foot time out of all my boots. Huh? Which, if I do review on those, I'll probably, you'll probably see. And those are the only boots I can't treat, either, because I don't have stuff to treat weight. But, um... So I might do a video on how to treat reptile skin uh, sometime or another, but um, but uh, I got another uh, idea coming up. I got a uh, pair of boots I actually got for pretty cheap. I'll, then we're gonna, I'll do later today uh, how to you know clean and do stuff. Or I might do that tomorrow. I don't know, but you can see it looks pretty cool. You can't go wrong with, you know, reptile skin. <laughs> okay, so, um, overall, 
I can give these boots probably a 10 out of 10 because I just I absolutely love these. <laughs> this is one of my favorite pairs of boots that I actually own. And you can tell that I really like these because I have little foot time to actually receive because you know, I want them to look real nice. I also got a new hat by the way. Y'all didn't notice. I got this hat at uh, uh, Marvin's the other day. But, um, now these boots, I got these up in uh, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Uh, not in Stages West. My fly boots, I got at Stages West there, but these actually at a French's boot store in, in, up in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. So, um, yeah, it was a very exciting day because, you know, I always wanted to repair it and, you know, finally did. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and, uh, you, know, you have to treat these a lot because it'll peel up and stuff. And if you keep them treated, you know, they'll, they'll last a while. If you, if you take real good care of them and you know, don't wear them constantly, they'll, they'll always look nice. But, um, but if you like this review and you want more, uh, well, actually, before I get into that, uh, if y'all did notice my profile picture, uh, it's actually a beef boots right here on my, on my YouTube channel, my picture. The round circle one. That's my uh, that's on these boots right here. Okay, getting into the intro. I just wanted to explain that. But okay, so if y'all like this review, give me a thumbs up. That helped me out a lot. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my other two channels, the Backwoods Gaming and the Backwoods Boys Garage. And definitely hit the like and subscribe to the Backwoods Apparel. I'll see y'all next video.